once again to another short uh, live stream um, checking our facility as usual and I thought it's a perfect chance to take you with me talk a bit about uh, how we ship uh, our boas and um, also like to um, yeah, just uh, say a few more sentences uh, to my last live stream that got uh, quite a lot of uh, attention um, with, uh, how to say, uh, probably a um, kind of a clickbait uh, title with a huge price drop of uh, Boa Morphs. Um, if you have seen the live stream, you probably understood or hopefully like uh, I, I'm kind of questioning this uh, depending on the uh, like uh, feedback that I got. Um, I don't believe that it is this crazy um, as it seems. So you just have to think about what you are doing and uh, like Probably the most important thing is don't freak out. This is uh, like probably what I should have said uh, as well in the live stream. Um, it is never a good idea to freak out. And like uh, I've been uh, saying this uh, quite often here in the live streams. You need to be patient if you want to sell some boas it is you cannot expect that the people once you made a post um, are uh, on their way to to grab the animals uh, out of your hands so just be patient and uh, take some nice pictures of the animals and uh, take your time hey Nils, good morning Michael is also here. That is amazing. Welcome. Welcome to uh, today's morning live stream. It's uh, 8 a.m. here in Hamburg, Germany. And uh, yeah, today I thought I uh, tell a bit about how you can easily ship uh, boas because uh, this is a topic that I'm uh, getting a lot. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to ship uh, boas and uh, especially like how to ship boas uh, by plane. And uh, so I figured that this is quite a good topic uh, to talk about in the end. Um, yeah, it's just a bit more effort needed. And uh, But before we get started with uh, paperwork stuff, I thought to talk a bit about some basics. So... Here, uh, when it comes to uh, how to properly uh, pack the animals uh, before shipping, this is out of, uh, of an old pillow um, cover. And uh, so in case you have a mom, a grandma or whatever, um, they, can, they can use the old uh, covers to create such bags. Obviously, you can also like buy them. The most important thing here is, I hope you can see this, the, usually the inside needs to be on the outside. I hope you can, you can see it this way. This is how it should look uh, from the inside. And this, usually we always uh, tend to do this the other way around. This needs to be on the outside. The reason is the animals can uh, like they're gonna try to uh, escape from the back obviously and uh, they can uh, have a pretty bad rose, uh, nose rub um, if this is on the inside and sometimes you have like these like sort of slings coming out and uh, so they if they are going through it if they are pushing through it uh, accidentally they can even uh, like um, yeah, kill themselves. So that is uh, quite important, uh, even though it's uh, it's last, just like a tiny detail. Um, what we always do if we put the animals um, 
before we put the animals in the bags is that we grab ourselves uh, some kitchen towels and um, depending on the size of the animal usually we only put sub adult animals in the bags and uh, we grab some kitchen towel and we are adding like five pieces of kitchen towel um, to the bag so just like that adding it adding it to the back and um, on one hand this kind of is makes it a bit more comfy for the animal but also just in case the animal urinates in the back you have at least a bit there that can soak it up um, so that's that's also quite important um, i have no translation for this here um, but these straps is what we are using to close the bags. Uh, when we got started shipping boas, uh, we have been um, making a knot uh, in the bag, but obviously it is way better to, um, to do this with such a strap. I, let me try to show you what else is quite important. Let's uh, pretend the animal is in the back. We are always closing it like this, and then you bend over the end before you the, you um, tie it with a strap. So this way uh, you are avoiding that maybe sometimes the strap is not like tight enough. Uh, the animal can still like push through it. So we we've uh, already had the case that. We have been tying it like this. The animal sometimes can still like uh, push through it. So always like twist it, turn it, and then seal it. And that's like uh, how you can uh, properly uh, close, close the bag. One other uh, thing what we are doing is we have these, um, these plastic uh, uh, um, boxes. Uh, there are some ventilation holes uh, on each side and um, we are always adding some uh, some kitchen towel once again. <clears throat> to do it one-handed is quite a challenge. So we have these box. We always take one, one leaf of uh, kitchen towel, adding it to the bottom. Same idea as for the bags. We are doing this so in case the animal, it is a bit more comfy um, during transport, but also uh, in case the animal urinates, then we have like um, at least a bit that can soak it up. And I always like to add uh, like one or two pieces of kitchen towel like this. So the animal got something that it can grab to, but it can also not harm the animal. And last but not least, I started to take another uh, piece of kitchen towel. And once the animal has been put in, we are covering everything like this before we are putting on the lid. This helps a lot to calm the animal down and um, yeah, it's way more um, effective to, for a safer transport. So this is like kind of the basics. And if you are using such a plastic box, then I can only recommend, especially for a bit stronger animals, to seal it <coughs> uh, like at least with two stripes. Uh, because sometimes with stronger animals it can happen that they are able to lift the lid. Um, so this is like the very, very basic. Um, obviously you're going to need a, a thermal box, uh, some heat packs or cool packs, depending on where you are at, from where you are shipping. Um, also, and this is like something that I like to do, um, I like to put these stickers on each side um, of the box. Also like uh, handle with care, do not drop, keep dry. You need these animal life stickers. 
um, and uh, like you definitely should to put uh, should put uh, the labels on each side of the thermo box. Um, my lessons learned is that there are still even some worker that do not pay attention to labels at all. So um, in the US, you always have the possibility to pick up uh, any mills um, at a FedEx hub, for example. So this is like uh, what is used um, quite a lot to avoid that uh, the animals were are like driving around for half a day or whatever, uh, or a full day uh, before they get delivered. And uh, also they're gonna be handled less. So uh, that's definitely interesting. Talking about um, the paperwork, uh, if you want to uh, ship animals or boas um, international, you uh, need CITES papers. So, as you probably know, the boa constrictor are protected. Um, this is a WA, uh, what is it, chapter 2, appendix B, uh, something like that. And um, so, it is required that you have uh, CITES papers uh, to ship the animals. Um, where can you apply for a CITES paper? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, this is so different. Even within Germany, within the different districts, um, there are different authorities responsible to, uh, to issue uh, a CITES paper. So this is something that you need to find out. Uh, there are always breeders uh, in your area you can ask. Uh, there are always probably broker. Um, so this is like uh, my lessons learned is get yourself a broker they know what to do they do this on a daily basis and usually they are always uh, like people out there um, who um, are like professional in transporting animals in general and they can always help you uh, with these uh, once you have the cites paper uh, paperwork you can, you need to apply let's pretend you want to ship animals uh, overseas um, so you need export CITES papers and with these paperwork your customer or the broker of your customer needs to apply for import CITES papers um, and obviously I get a lot of requests from uh, Brazil uh, from uh, like India uh, this morning and um, we can basically ship worldwide um, because we know how the process works, we know how to issue CITES papers, this is no, no challenge whatsoever, but it needs to be legal at your place uh, to import BOAS. And this is also something that only you can check uh, for yourself. So in case you're dreaming of importing animals, uh, also get requests from Dubai uh, like uh, quite a lot. And uh, we have no problem uh, shipping there, uh, that is quite an easy task for us but you need to make sure that you are uh, that you also have the license i believe for the us um, you need uh, you need some certificates um, from what is it called fish and wildlife um, so it is very different depending on the area where you're from and uh, this is something I'm not able to help you with. Um, hey, yeah, it's midnight in California. It's uh, unfortunately already 8 a.m. here in Germany. So I'm on my way to the office and have just a short stop by. Um, all right, yeah, so in the end, you need to issue the CITES papers um, and then the people need to, um, how, what to say, uh, once the CITES papers for the import, uh, for the export uh, are ready, you need to apply for the CITES paper of the import. Once this is in place, you, there needs to be an invoice created. Um, get in touch with your, uh, with your broker. Then the animals need to be properly packed, as uh, I've been showing you. In a thermal box, the thermal box also should have some ventilation holes. Um, 
Best case, I always like to uh, have a carton around the thermo box. Uh, also, the stickers uh, are attached better to the to the uh, to the carton. And um, yeah, you need to have uh, ventilation holes uh, in the uh, thermo box as well. And also, like if you're using these plastic, um, these plastic cups, whatever, uh, you need to make sure that there are also like ventilation holes in it as well. <clears throat> and then you are basically uh, ready to go. Um, you can work with, um, uh, what to say, with heat trackers. So there are like mini uh, uh, USB temperature trackers uh, that uh, we have been using for quite some time. Um, when we were shipping to Canada, to the US, uh, we gave it a try uh, just out of curiosity, like how the temperature um, is developing. Uh, also, like depending on the um, depending on the time that we are shipping in the year, and um, so this is the reason why we are into the US. We have our standard shipments end of May. So it is like warm enough uh, to ship, but not too hot uh, at this moment uh, to risk any animals. Um, and then we are always shipping out like uh, end of October, early November. This is kind of on the edge uh, before it gets too cold. Uh, so this is like the reason why we, we have these, uh, uh, yeah, uh, we only ship within these uh, period of times. And um, so you don't get too bored of the shipping facts. Let's have a look at, at some babies. Not sure who's ready. Oh, what's... Here we do have like a nice, but I believe this is a bloodhead VPI female. 2023 we also have like a, a very few uh, like VPI Sanglo blood um, available from 23 as well as you know if you are following closely the VPI definitely needs some time uh, to show their their real color. Here we have one of our specters. This is a specter female. And uh, she's also the only specter female that we make available. I really like those super dark eyes. Fantastic animal, and I can't wait to to add more IMG to to the Spectre project. This is the only animal right now that uh, does contain the IMG Jungle Hypo Spectre. By far, my favorite animal. Here's a sibling of her. This is a VPI IMG Posset Spectre. This is a female. Definitely considering making her available. <clears throat> oh, wow. Here we have a nice red dragon. You can still see that it was feeding day yesterday. This is uh, one of the available males. So, at least we have seen a few, uh, uh, a few animals. Um, 
And uh, I guess that's it. We are like 20 minutes uh, in the live. I need to uh, I need to go to the office now. And uh, yeah, enjoy your weekend. Take care of your animals and. Uh, See you next week uh, with the next live streams. In case you have any topics, send me a message. I just added uh, some more details, some more contact details in the uh, description of this video. So uh, just in case you wanna, uh, you wanna, uh, you have any questions, whatever, uh, you wanna get in touch. Uh, like uh, if you're using WhatsApp, for example, or Signal, uh, whatever. Um, this is the most easy way to get in touch with me. Looking forward to your messages. Take care. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.